it's going to be non-stop stupidity and action for the next, oh, I don't know how long. Bob has come with his beautiful big vehicle. Bill's um, helping us out too. We've got some of the equipment we think we need. Never done it before. Let's see what we can do. Um, we're going to stretch the ducts, which is Dyneema product, synthetic rigging. Because I've done the splice, which means you've upset the weave. We need to now re-stretch it to re-bed it. So therefore I can get an accurate measurement to then do the next splice. And I've got to use the data from this splice and know that it say stretches say four inches. So then when I do the other splice, I'll know it'll stretch another four inches. So I have to calculate it in, apparently. The problem is the instructions that I was given, I was given left only one foot as sacrificial for the knot. Now, if anyone's going to be buying really thick Dyneema, allow two and a half feet so you can get a good figure eight and then you can loop it back up and then you can put some bulldog clips or something on. We're struggling. I mean, we're, we've got about a foot and two thirds, believe it or not. One knot takes so much um, ducks up, especially in this thick. As it is, I'm stuffing up a part of my berry which is not a big deal because it's just the berry. So it's just a, a compression force. It's the, the rope that's actually within the rope. The trouble is when I'm trying to thread it through, the, ro the rope's gonna be a bit fuzzy and it's gonna be hard to push through. So I'm gonna have to either tape it or use a big, big thid to feed it up through. So it's just making my life a bit of a misery on the second splice. But hopefully it won't be too much of a misery. Oh, I think oh, I can hold it up if you want to start cranking or if you need it's to. It's slow. Okay. It's real slow. All right, okay. Now we needed a hand winch of 5,000 pounds, which I couldn't get. So we had one that I think was 3,000 and it was slow. It was too slow and everyone was getting pissed. Well, mainly Dwayne here because he did all the work. Anyway, we did this for a couple of runs and yes, it was very slow. So. I'm not going to recommend this, but this is what we did. We put it between two cars and used one car as an anchor and the other car stretched it out. It's not recommended, but it worked. Oh, this, one, yeah, this one's easy to coil. Good. Oh, look. It's stiff. It is? Remember how, no, it's what we want it. It's, got, it's returning to, it. you know, it's bedding. Now, believe it or not, with all this measuring, I could work out using linear algebra and a thing called solving simultaneously, I could work out what each splice stretched to and what the line generally stretched to. And that's important because when I was doing the splice at the other end, I could get reasonably accurately a specified length. So much so I was within two inches for a 50 foot length of a shroud. So that was pretty good. Now this is not recommended and we're doing it again. Do it. Now we have completed line, both splices are done and now we're stretching it so we get to the calculated length. Well, what I calculated and as I said, we got to within two inches so that was all good. And of course, we're racing the thunderstorm. Alright, that'll do it! Now it's back to the boatyard to fix the ducks to the mast, ready for the lift in a couple of days time. Just making sure the nylon washers are actually doing anything. Well, we have a bit of a problem. It's a good thing I stretched the ducks because it came awfully close to the guy wires supporting the spreaders. Now, it might be in a very strong wind, it might set up kind of harmonic motion and they may get chafed. So, it's an easy fix. We just move them forward and then there'll be plenty of separation. That's an easy job. That's nothing. I'm going to attach the turnbuckles and put the pins in so we can put the rigging. Yes, I know. We are using galvanized turnbuckles. Some people regard them as unsightly. I don't give a crap. I would much rather them holding up my rigging 
than stainless steel. And also they were 13 bucks each. Yeah, ready for tomorrow.